Check a check, check, check. I'm Luke Stamper. My name's Nick. My name's Ben Claxton. I'm Ben Beasley. I'm Holly Briggs. I'm Rowan Holt. I'm Rob Shinkevich, uh, co founder of Second Impact Games, and we created Super Crazy Rhythm Castle. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle, the chaotic rhythm adventure. There is a castle of music, and different challenges would come and challenge the king in a fair music battle. The winner would take the crown, they'd be playing music together, having fun, and it's kind of all in good sport. Then one day along comes King Ferdinand. He decides he wants this crown, but he doesn't really have the talent to be up for it. King Ferdinand cheats his way to the crown and he starts to warp that castle into a very strange place. The characters of Rhythm Castle are a very interesting little bunch. We wanted a really varied cast, just so everyone has someone they can relate to, they can enjoy playing. Beebox, who is the little robot b-boy. He's Bumblebee themed as well. He's always a shuffle it along. Trinity is the demon girl, metal, cool, punky. Character. Jingle is a crafty little magpie. He's just looking for anything shiny, really, so he's out to get the crown for himself. And then we have Mike. He's sort of like the music police, so he's here to deal with sound complaints that have been sent to them to do with the king. And then there's a bunch of unlockable characters. Some you might recognise, some kind of link in with the starting four characters, and some will just be a bit of a surprise. So I think my favourite character design was the king himself, trying to get who he is across to the player. He started off as being quite dark when I came up with the initial concepts, looking into the things that a king might wear, also someone who just maybe hangs out in his room way too much. How he is the baddie, but he's not evil, he's just a jerk. We looked at a lot of different avenues for the art style. We knew the sort of feel we wanted, that kind of old school pixel art feel, but we didn't necessarily want to make a pixel game, we wanted something a bit more high res. So we ended up with this kind of GBS cartoony look with a lot of painty backgrounds. There's some painty kind of textures going on with the characters as well. We want everything to have like a hand-drawn look, especially with the 2D characters. And with the 3D backgrounds, a lot of the assets will look hand-painted and we just want to, to make it look like there was a lot of love put into it. We approached Rhythm Castle with yeah this, this crazy idea that basically every level is entirely different. When you get into a new area, you're going to have to figure out what you're being faced with. You've got to start use a certain amount of super crazy logic to decide what to do with that object and where to take it. Like, what do I do with a block of butter that's just been spurted out of a hole? Some of these levels will be very heavily weighted to rhythm play. Other ones will use it to power some effects. Certain times you're going to be into the rhythm. Other times you need to get out and do other things. By designing the levels in different ways, we were able to take these little seeds of ideas and throw them each into an individual level. Some started from a song, others started with a non-rhythm mechanic. Some started with a visual approach where we said, actually this, this layout, this character, you know, this is really interesting. Uh, how can we sort of turn that into a rhythm experience? The game having so many different things going on, there was still a lot of stuff to do. It wasn't, oh, we're just sort of doing the same thing over and over again to make a new level. It was play it a bunch, work out if it's working, work out what might need to be changed, sort of gather ideas from everyone. So that was often quite a tricky but enjoyable process. The level that I had the most fun making was the locker room. There is so much madness in the level, especially on like four player mode where all four of you are running around opening different lockers, not only playing the rhythm game, but also trying to mess with each other in different ways and distract each other. I find a lot of fun in that. The escape room level is one of my favorites. To be honest, I loved watching people play that level. When you know it, it's great to solve that puzzle but really well. When you don't know it, it's this journey of exploration, like what on earth do I do now? And then you find it and it's sort of, of course. There's some really juicy, uh, juicy levels that I'm really excited for people to get their hands on. The entire meat section of the game. The entire dimensions made out of meat. <laughs> I think working on a meat dimension would change anybody, honestly. So the meat dimension was one of Rob's crazy ideas, like most of them. The protagonist and health and safety egg team up to run a sort of sports day event and soapbox car race thing on the sides. Still don't quite understand that myself. It's this weird mashup of like, sort of London West End, cobbled streets, and glitzy signs, and there's this whole sort of musical theatre theme going throughout, so each level in there is like an act in a play or a musical or something. The game's attitude towards food is something that certainly raises eyebrows. <laughs> I think some of the hardcore rhythm fans are really gonna really enjoy unlocking and perfecting some of those really, really hard songs. If I had to pick favourite songs, I'd say the uh, Konami tracks, Smooch. It's something that I can tell why this is in a rhythm game, and I'm glad it's in ours too. Bloody Tears being the most complex of Konami songs, so I really get a lot of joy out of playing that. Flamenco, it's sort of a fun lively song. When I first tried to play the rhythm game for it, I was just, I can't imagine how I'm going to do any of these sequences and then actually found myself managing to play those bits. It's a skill to learn the rhythm game and that's, that's something I love. We envisioned 
a game that is bigger experience and kind of accessible to everyone, but it's still a really strong rhythm game at its core. The birth of that idea that from, you know, just taking completely far too far. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle! Yeah, I mean, we'll probably use the bits where it's most awkward. <laughs> <laughs>